it's kind of like you're walking towards a cliff and you feel perfectly fine as you walk towards that cliff. My liver was two thirds gone and no indication that there was anything wrong with me. Everything was normal for me. I had no idea that I was carrying a deadly virus. Never heard of it. This is some foreign, foreign thing that other people get. They told me like I have hepatitis C. I told them, what, what was the hepatitis what does that C? Mean, what does know? that mean? They said, yeah, you have two and a half months to live without a, without a, a transplant. If you look at lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, steady decline. Liver cancer going up. And what's that from? It's from undiagnosed hepatitis C. The people dying of, of hep C has well surpassed the people who have ever died of AIDS. But it's not talked about. People with this infection often are marginalized and they're not a group that has been politically vocal. I feel like my life is just beginning again, right? That's somebody's loved one, that's somebody's son, that's somebody's father. The stigma is about plain and simple injection drug use. I need someone to say, how are you, not what what did that to you or how did you get it? They're not ex-junkies or drug users, but they're being treated as such. Hepatitis C is not a dirty word. Most people with hepatitis C are not being treated. And people are getting messed, they're falling through the cracks. I would be dead by now. My hep C counts went so high. Uh, it's either rigor mortis or do the treatment. There's a lot of people out there that have it and they're afraid to, to deal with it. I'm stubborn. I love life, you know what I mean? If, if you ignore the problem, you're going to pay the price later. And our hospitals are going to be full of pe people with liver disease. And if we're talking about several hundred thousand people who are going to suffer this fate over the next 10 to 15 to 20 years, we're really talking about an enormous health burden. What we're looking at is the tip of the iceberg. It's like Woody Allen says, I'm really against death and dying. I just don't want to be there when it happens.